tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We're meant to be In the great outdoor Forever free Remember, this is before Disney. BB. We were up to then primarily a rural agrarian, you know, citrus based income society. Disney, just the dynamics of Disney changed into Florida. And the kind of tourist attraction I can remember growing up here was going to Gatorland. And I went in my kindergarten field trip. Before Disney, just going down to Lake Eola, I think one of the prettiest pictures we have is of our son trying to feed the swans when he was about three. A weekend summer outing was to take the family and go to San Marino Springs. The lakes, the fishing. A couple parks with glass bottom boats and things of that sort. The outdoor living with kids, bonfires, you live in shorts and sneakers. There was an awful lot to do without who want to be entertained, you entertain yourself. be a little two-horse town, I guess you'd say, a little small town. It used to be in Orlando in the 50s and 60s at 5 o'clock, pretty much rolled up the sidewalks. When the Disney announcement came, we were told as a community to prepare for this, but it's impossible, I think, to prepare for an announcement of that magnitude, really. I'm going over to welcome the first Walt Disney World visitor into this park. Looks like a family of four. Three toe-headed boys, one is the husband. We were out there the first week of 1971. I mean, there's no gum wrappers on the street. You know, everything is just make-believe clean and sanitized. And we looked at the infrastructure and thought about all the money they spent. And at that time, no lines, no crowds. We wondered if Disney was going to make it. Well, it was 20 years ago today that the Walt Disney Company opened the gates to the Magic Kingdom in Central Florida, changing forever the face of this area. And like they do everything else, Disney is celebrating that progress in a four-day bash that culminates today in a rededication of the theme park. All of a sudden, there was a land boom. Um, I think a lot of people who got into this with the expectation that, well, feeling that if the community didn't grow, it, it would die. I know we paid for Grove property back in the 50s like $200 an acre. 
today that property is $150,000 an acre. Totally unbelievable. Of course, the more they build, the more trees they cut out, the hotter it gets. Traffic is terrible. I notice it keeps going east and west and it's just expanding. Eventually there will be nothing but concrete. Well, I personally think Disney has been good for the community. I think people have to learn how to accept the community that has that kind of activity within it. Of course, we're the entertainment capital of the world now, and I think we all enjoy that. As industry goes, as we continue to point out, it's clean industry, it's, it's entertainment. The trade-off between a higher standard of living and what we have now Everyone likes material things. I mean, to a certain degree. It keeps the economy going. But I miss the sense of community. I miss the sense of my daughters growing up. Well, I made a lot of money from them. I would have been more than willing to sacrifice that. I'm ready to leave. And I was born and raised here. My parents were born and raised here. And But it's just, you know, it's just not the same. It's sort of a misnomer to say Orange County anymore because you're hard pressed to find an orange tree. But what Disney did to the community as far as you know, expanding the employment base. It's just, it's done wonders. There are always gives and takes when large corporations come in and people move into an area. Um, the positive is there are more jobs. The downside of that income is a lot of it is support income. It's restaurant workers, it's maids in the hotels. My niece came from Puerto Rico thinking that this would be the place to establish herself. She was hired as domestic. She just could not hack the, the work of domestic, uh, trying to get established with a daughter, uh, babysitting, transportation, and of course, a uh, lot lower wages. Oh, the gains definitely outweigh the losses as far as the Walt Disney World Company coming to Central Florida. And I guess mainly I look at it from the perspective of, of where I am now. First job with Disney was a Walt Disney World tour guide. I was responsible for taking people on guided tours of the Magic Kingdom. And after that, I became ambassador for Walt Disney World. You know, we're fortunate, you know, there are other communities that are closing down, and we've just got a, a booming economy here. So now Central Florida is a Disney town. There's some negatives, but we're married now. There's no way they'll, they'll do away with us, or we can do away with them. We're, we're in this marriage state.